Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl slash The Flash. We're going to be talking about the potential crossover that is happening in The Flash's final season, that being season 9 of course. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. Okay guys, so we've got an interesting video for you. We got like a little bit of an update just about what has been going on recently with some of the announcements to do with The Flash and what is potentially coming in Season 9, especially to do with that mini crossover that Eric Wallace mentioned a while ago. I've been getting some questions about this recently and I thought I would just do a mini update video on what we know as of right now as to what they are planning for Season 9 of The Flash in regards to this kind of small cameo crossover that was mentioned before. Also at the end of the video we've got a couple of extra things to talk about. There is an update regarding the Superman Lois Jonathan Kent casting so please be sure to stick around for the entire video to get through everything and stay up to date. One more thing before we start this video, tomorrow we're going to be doing a live stream around 7pm UK time so that is British summer time so Translate that to whatever time zone you are from and tune in tomorrow at that time at 7 p.m. UK time because we are going to be doing a members live stream. And in fact, any of you can get involved if you become a member today. And by becoming a member, by clicking the join button down below, which is next to the subscribe button for all of you guys who didn't know where it is, you will be permitted onto the live stream tomorrow. I will be sending a link out to all the members and we're going to go into the live stream, you are going to be able to talk to me in person, obviously online, and you'll be featured on the channel, so I think it's a great opportunity and it's something new that I'm trying out, that is going to be tomorrow night at 7pm UK time, so yeah, join, become a member today if you want to get involved. And if you're already a member, please be sure to message in the community tab or message me on Instagram or Twitter to say that you are down to join in and I'll send you the link tomorrow. Okay, so let's go into today's main topic. We're going to be talking about The Flash, Season 9, and the potential Supergirl cameo crossover that is coming later or at some point in the season. And so this Supergirl cameo was mentioned a while ago. It was first mentioned by Eric Wallace in an interview with The Flash podcast. I'll find it somewhere and I'll leave it in the description below so you guys can check it out. And in the initial interview with Eric Wallace, he teased that he was having conversations with a Supergirl alum, so basically someone that was in Supergirl before, and that they would be coming to The Flash and they would have an appearance at some point in the season. And this was hinted at being as part of like a kind of greater story where this character would have a connection to one character in the show and they would create a story out of it, so potentially showing up for multiple episodes rather than just one small cameo appearance. So that got people thinking. And lots of people have been thinking, oh, is it Supergirl? Is it Nia? Is it Alex? Well, obviously we all have our suspicions, but I'm going to go through what we know as of right now now and crack down on who it probably is going to be and also the likelihood of it actually going ahead. So there was actually a, another interview that was released by The Flash Podcast, it was like a couple of months later and Eric Wallace provided an update basically saying that yes things are going ahead at the point of when they were talking and they had those conversations and they were closer to actually arranging it and making it happen. So we'll have to wait and see. Things could have changed by now, especially as The Flash prepares to start Season 9. But most importantly, things have changed. Their plans have changed as far as we know. They didn't know about the fact that The Flash was going to be ending just like 3-4 months ago when those interviews originally came out. So maybe Eric Wallace's plans have changed. Now we know that Season 9 was officially announced just recently that it would be the final season, it would have a shortened season of about 13 episodes rather than the normal 20 we got last season or previously like 18, 21, 22, stuff like that. So now with only 13 episodes that is a much more short season and we're not going to be getting a long season where we can fit lots of extra episodes where you can have crossovers, where you can have an event like Armageddon actually happening. And so it seemed that's what Eric was originally planning to do, to have 
a sort of mini crossover once again because Armageddon was very successful it seems. So he was planning to do something similar as far as I know, I can't confirm, I don't know any inside information, but I presume the Supergirl cameo would have been sometime around the start of the season because they had those talks a while ago, like way before they were going to start shooting, so they were trying to really make it happen. And considering that they did it so early on, I would presume it's still going ahead. However, with the change of 13 episodes and presumably Eric Wallace finding out after those conversations, it seems there is always a possibility that they may have to cut the cameo and cut any potential crossover episodes they were thinking of doing because they really have to focus on putting an end to the show in obviously the right way. They don't want to leave the fans with an unsatisfying ending and unsatisfying final season that is more about other shows or other characters than our main characters. So definitely the focus this season is going to be on Barry, Iris, Team Flash because they have a lot to do before they end the show. Now we don't know if they plan to do any future spin-offs like Bart and Nora show or something, which I obviously would love, but maybe they do, so maybe they'll leave a couple of cliffhangers here and there just in case that they plan to do anything extra with some of those characters. But as for the Supergirl crossover character actually showing up, it was teased that it was someone that had never appeared on The Flash before, specifically, so that basically ruled out Supergirl, Alex, Jean, even Monel, because I believe Monel was there in the Flash crossover episode when it was the musical. And so I don't remember exactly who else has and hasn't been on the Flash from Supergirl, but as far as I know, I don't believe Nia actually has shown up or Kelly Olsen. And those would be my top two picks. I have been saying that I think Nia makes the most sense. And I said this as Supergirl was ending, I feel like the biggest shame was not the fact that Supergirl was ending, but someone like Nia, whose story had just started, was being cut off so early, especially because she didn't join the show right from the start. So she hasn't had all that time in the world. So it would be great to see Nia once again back in the air of us on the big screen. I would really hope that would be the actual choice that they go about because she's a superhero. It would be awesome to see her fighting alongside The Flash and co, it would definitely be my number one pick because it just makes so much sense. However, I do think the Kelly Olsen link would be an interesting link to somehow link it to one of the other characters, maybe not The Flash, because even though Kelly is the Guardian, she is a vigilante, I would say she is more so maybe involved in, you know, an investigation or somehow involved in a more human matter rather than anything too mystical or kind of flash-like that Nia would be involved in just because of her powers being more so along the lines of the Flash rather than Kelly who is a vigilante who obviously would have made a lot of sense if she showed up on Arrow while Arrow was around but obviously Kelly wasn't so that is my kind of reasoning like I think it would be Kelly if the story is less flash orientated and it's more about another character, maybe Iris. And I think it will be Nia if it is more of a story to do with the flash. That's just my thoughts right now. I really don't know who exactly it's going to be, but I would put my money on either of those two. And I really, really do hope things work out. And even with the 13 episodes with the shorter season, I really hope we get to see this crossover character, especially before The Flash ends. One of the other things I wanted to bring up in this video is in fact what I briefly referenced at the start. So we have an update to do with the Superman Lois casting of the new Jonathan Kent actor. In fact, this has just been debunked by Alex Garfin who plays Jordan on the show. So this is what he said, Julian Reese, who was the actor that was supposedly maybe being cast as Jonathan Kent is just one of his best friends from high school and he forgot to unfollow him after Alex did a takeover on the Superman Lowe's account and he followed the account in order for him to be able to DM a meme for the takeover and so it's just his friend and we aren't on to anything. Obviously people thought oh this could be a possibility because the Superman Lowe's account was following him and they barely follow anyone that isn't involved in the show 
and Alex Garfin was also following him, but it turns out he's just a high school friend. He is an actor as well, but he is not coming to Man Lois, apparently, according to Alex Garfin, so that was just a rumor that has been debunked. I obviously did make a video on it because I just made the presumption. I know that it wasn't 100% certain because there was no casting announcement made, but it was just people analyzing some information online and I think that's fair enough but it's good of Alex to come out and actually debunk this so we know that in fact they are still looking to cast someone it seems or maybe they've cast someone and it's just under wraps as of right now as to who that replacement for Jonathan Kent is. I'm very curious to see what actually happens when they actually cast that new person. But that pretty much does it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. And remember, become a member by clicking the join button below and signing up to the DC TV show to become a member to join in with tomorrow's live stream if you want to come chat with me and also be featured on the YouTube channel. But for now, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.